welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to be making a cauliflower burrito bowl. Let's get it. Welcome back, Towners. Uh, for this video here, uh, we're going to be making a uh, cauliflower taco bowl, cauliflower nachos, cauliflower burrito bowl, uh, cauliflower taco salad, however you guys want to call it. Um, people label it a lot of different things, I guess, mainly because you put the, I'm putting the lettuce down as the base layer, you make all the salad, but call it what you want to. Um, I'm just basically using the lettuce and the cauliflower as my chips, so I'm calling it nachos personally. But uh, we have our uh, tray here. Uh, this uh, We have a takeout container that we're building this and plate and making this in. I ordered some takeout and they gave me, I guess when they closed up my lid, they had like three or four containers in one and didn't realize it. So it basically gave me some extra containers. So I just went ahead and kept that and used that as my bowls. I'm like, hey, might as well use that as opposed to having to wash some additional dishes. So uh, we put down some romaine lettuce, chopped that up, cleaned it up, put that down as our base layer. And then topped that with some steamed uh, cauliflower and season that with some of our Cooking with the Town 2 uh, taco seasoning. Uh, next, we put down some ground beef. Uh, we really season the ground beef well uh, with our taco seasoning, and so that's very flavorful, so that's gonna help flavor everything else throughout the dish, so you won't need to add anything else to it seasoning-wise. Uh, then we, on top of that, we put down some uh, shredded cheese, uh, some, mo some mozzarella, and co uh, mozzarella and cheddar, which is basically Kobe Jack. And then we put down some of our homies, the jalapenos, Topped it off with some sour cream as well as some salsa and then hit that with some additional sriracha. And that was our nachos. Uh, using the steamed cauliflower helped to add like an additional layer of flavor. Um, again, we're not using any rice or any black beans, so it just helps to fulfill the dish out. And also, if you ever go to take out or anywhere to order this a burrito bowl or anything like that, and don't use any lettuce, and don't use any beans or rice, it's really small, really small dish. But this is how we made it. Um, this container will not close. It's really filled up to the top. And um, we're going to go in for a taste test for you guys. And hope you guys try this recipe out. Enjoy. All right, guys, here we go. We have some uh, cauliflower nachos. Uh, nacho bowl, nacho salad, taco bowl. However, it's cauliflower and nachos. <laughs> But uh, let's go into it. Gotta get some homies on it. Got to. It's good. Season the cauliflower with some additional taco seasoning because we already had the flavor of the taco seasoning all in the meat and everything, but. This is definitely a feed too. Um, split this up with my wife. Or if she doesn't want any of it, just save it for later. Just um, try it out, guys. Just use a cauliflower, add it on, as opposed to rice, the whole cauliflower florette. Um, or you can leave the lettuce out completely and just do like a deconstructed taco. But enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.